Welcome to Nutley Cisco Academy. NAT for IPv4, network address translation or NAT is the process for converting private IPv4 addresses to internet routable IPv4 addresses. NAT hides internal IPv4 addresses from the outside networks. Static NAT translates addresses on a one-to-one -one basis. NAT provides internet security and increases the flexibility of public networks. Firewall settings. Firewall is a security utility for devices designed to limit access to a network or in a network. Basically, it generally limits electronic access to a network. In some cases, people like to change their firewall settings to allow certain specific programs to run without being blocked. So you basically change the filter you have on your network to allow what you want and block what you don't want. There are three types of firewalls. It's the packet filtering, stateful, and application layer. Packet filtering or stateless firewalls work by inspecting individual packets in isolation. As such, they are unaware of a connection state and can only allow or deny packets based on individual packet headers. Stateful firewalls are able to determine the connection state of packets, which makes them much more flexible than stateless firewalls. They work by connecting related packets until the connection state can be determined before any firewall rules are applied to the traffic. Application firewalls go one step further by analyzing the data being transmitted, which allows network traffic to be matched against firewall rules that are specific to individual services or applications. They're also known as proxy-based firewalls. DMZ or demilitarization zone is a network that provides services to an untrusted network. Um, it can be created on a wireless router by forwarding all traffic ports from the internet to a specific IP or MAC address. Servers are placed into a DMZ so traffic in the server cannot interact with local server. Um, if you look at the diagram up below, the internet, which is shown by the cloud on the left, is theoretically separated by the trusted zone or local network by a DMZ. So any traffic that is in the internet trying to get into the local network is first stopped at the DMZ so it doesn't go directly into the local network. Port forwarding. Uh, port forwarding is the behind the scenes process of interpreting data traffic. Uh, this data is the packets heading to a computer IP or port and is then redirected to a different IP or port. This is usually done by a program on the computer or host, but it could sometimes be on an intermediate hardware device. Some devices would be a router, proxy server, or a firewall. In port forwarding, the intercepting program reads the packet header, notes the destination, and then rewrites the header information and sends it to another computer. This computer would obviously be a different from the one intended. The other destination would be a different IP address using the same port or a different port with the same IP address or a completely different combination of the two. Uh, port forwarding can protect servers and clients from unwanted access, and it could hide the services and servers, servers available on a network and limit the access to and from a network. It is transparent to the user and adds an extra layer of protection and security. It can be used to keep unwanted traffic off the networks and could also be helpful to home network users who want to run a web server or a gaming server on the same network. MAC address filtering. MAC address filtering spec specifies exactly which device MAC addresses are allowed <coughs> to or blocked from sending data on your network. Many wireless routers only give you the option of allowing or blocking MAC addresses, but not both. Technicians will typically configure allowed MAC addresses, uh, and these MAC addresses can be found on Windows computer by using the IP conf config all command. Finding the MAC address is not always this easy, though, because uh, not all devices call it a MAC address. Windows calls it a physical address, uh, iPhones call it a Wi-Fi address, and on Androids, it's called a Wi-Fi MAC address. Additionally, your device may have two or more MAC addresses. For example, the PlayStation 4 has two MAC addresses, one for wired networks and one for wireless networks. Similarly, a Windows computer might have multiple MAC addresses. The PC has three MAC addresses, wired, wireless, and virtual. However, MAC, addresses, MAC address filtering may be, may be your only option. Better solutions, such as port security, requiring purchasing an expensive router or separate firewall device and beyond the scope of this course. Whitelisting and blacklisting. Um, it specifies which IP addresses are allowed and not allowed on a network. Whitelisting is for allowing and blacklisting is for denying the access. 
Um, some examples are that whitelisting is good for controlling access to your approved IP addresses. So it's good for home, business, and public Wi-Fi situations. Blacklisting is good for blocking websites and applications that you may not want people to use. Um, a good example of this is like a school Wi-Fi where they use blacklisting to deny access to specific websites. And um, another example is that's basically similar to parental controls being put onto your devices. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Wait.